Okay, I did say it's a GPS chip, but Transcend is more than just the hardware. There's lots of GPS hardware. However, what makes the Trimble Transcend unique is that the technologies we apply to it. Hardware is one part, but positioning solutions are another. What happens when we get into areas where signal correction, correction signal is, is blocked or is weaker than in some other areas? Or maybe in some markets like South America or um, other parts that uh, we're trying to get into uh, may not even have a correction type. So some of the technologies that we have done in the past are things like the on-path filter technology. So taking just a raw GPS position is not good enough. That's why correction types all the way up to RTK have become so popular, but where you don't have those, Turnbull's dedicated lots of research to be able to come up with technologies where we can take GPS without a correction source and smooth the errors and do different things to where it's a viable product, it's a viable solution that can be used even without a correction type. In the presence of a correction type like SPAS, WAS, um, the on-path filter does correct through things if, you're on, if, you're, if your WAS signal becomes weak or if it drops out completely, um, the on-path does take over to bring that reliability to the field. Trimble RTK is another Trimble GPS positioning technology. It's specific. It's not, um, there's lots of RTK that, uh, that's being used today. Trimble RTK is unique. It brings that reliability. It brings performance in poor conditions um, to where the user can still expect, expect uh, high performing, reliable performance. Transcend builds and paves the way for us to add more technologies to solve. As we move forward, there's, uh, there's still quite a bit of room for the industry to grow as far as positioning goes. Trying to do highly precision applications near very tall, very dense row of trees um, in valleys, in areas where, where uh, signals get weaker, where signals get blocked. That's where, that's where the technology is going to fill, start filling the gaps, and Transcend will be a part of that. Okay, so now moving in to where we're applying the technology. New product released, um, as you guys have seen in the videos and in all the pieces of paper you have today. Um, the IGPS 162 receiver is uh, newly released. It's the, the entry level in positioning. It is a smart, what we call a smart antenna, GPS receiver antenna element built into one compact housing. This one right here. It is a, what we call an L1 signal, L1 GPS, meaning that it can do the, uh, the SBAS corrections. And SBAS, again, is WAS here in the US, Agnos in Europe, MSAS in Japan. Has the capability of outputting a simulated radar output to uh, connect to, to uh, planner monitors, things like that. One or five hertz output, and it does have a 12 channel GPS engine. And again, the Transcend technology, the latest, highest performing GPS that uh, Trimble has today. This receiver is uh, where it fits the market. Um, all those yield monitoring applications, lots of yield monitors out there. A nice, highly, um, you know, good performing receiver into those applications. We have things like crop scouting, still a lot of ATV work or pickup work being done with uh, PDAs, with laptops, going around, um, setting field boundaries, maybe doing some soil sampling. Um, great receiver for those applications. 8 to 12 inch pass to pass accuracy. So pretty high performing. Most of the receivers used today in that price range, um, maybe in the sub meter accuracy range, uh, you know, three to four foot range. So as we see 
you know, this evolution happening. Every new receiver that comes out seems to be getting better performing, lower cost, um, and hopefully more widely used and accepted in the market. So the 162 does start at 995. Right out of the box, it can mount all on its own. It does have built-in magnets on the bottom. Um, alternatively, under this label, there is the standard 5 8 thread antenna mount to, to put a heavy, uh, heavier magnet or um, you know, direct bolt or pole mount. Keep it away. Now, the new product release is the AG PS262 receiver. If some of you notice, this looks like our previous product called the 252 receiver that you will see on top of many um, OEM machines, many uh, Trimble customer machines as well. So same housing, brand new internal Transcend GPS technology. So while the housing is, is uh, you know, market recognized, um, various reasons for that, lots of, uh, lots of these 252s in the market already, so the 262 can be a drop-in replacement. Plug right into existing situations, same cabling, same mounting. Uh, pretty high benefit for that uh, user that just needs a replacement and also going forward with uh, brand new applications and installations as well. So part of the new technology is um, we continue with the L1, L2 dual frequency. What that allows us to achieve is Omnistar XP and HP, a little bit higher accuracy subscription services, and Trimble RTK. What's new in this receiver is it is, there's another system out there, another set of signals called L2C that we, we may be seeing more of in the short term, in the, in the near future. So it's a new set of signals that again brings some other benefits, um, not used today in the market. However, looking forward, we are looking at these new signals that are coming down. This receiver is ready for them. So and technology, Trimble has the, so far internally, we have the biggest lineup of, as part of the family of products that uses this Transcend GPS. So it has some pretty good advantages if you go from this side over here to the 162 receiver, the new 262, the Easy Guide 250, new product from last year, Easy Guide 500, the 2007 product, and also the brand new FMX display that has the two GPS and GLONASS receivers. So all these, this entire product line does use the same Transcend technology.